Good battle for second, this one. Amazingly, Randall isn't the fastest guy in the three that we're looking at. Goddard and Gretsch have speed over him. Leeds and Vernon still fighting. And Harry Hayek, we haven't seen too much from Harry. He's back down in seventh. Will Brown's lurched all the way back up to eighth, so he's passed a couple of cars, and that could be what he needs for that first and rookie of the award, uh, rookie of the year award. Well, it actually puts him third in points for the weekend, even though he's eighth. It would actually, at the moment, would be Lloyd would win the round from Jimmy Vernon, would be second, Will Brown third, and Thomas Randall fourth at the moment. Here Let's we see go. what happens here, though. <laughs> Lewis is on the outside, full throttle. This is 220 kilometres per hour. Neither driver wants to lift. And somehow they make it through turn one. That, that was close. Brave racing between a couple of teenagers. And it's the younger of the two that prevails that time. Finally gets the job done as the sun peeks through to warm up the 4.4 k's of tarmac on the island. Great little battle, and this one's still going now. Goddard drives down the middle of the road. Tom Gretsch is going to have to go the long way. Not far enough up. See if he can do a similar manoeuvre to Jimmy Vernon. So you've got to hand it to Zane Goddard. He's, he's being a little bit defensive, but I wouldn't say he's blocking by any stretch. Just placing the car in the right spot, making Gretsch do it the hard way. And certainly holding his own at the moment. A good mature drive after having a bit of an up and down weekend so far. Gretsch, seven years older albeit only 23. Driving down the inside that time into MG. So just making sure he didn't have a look. But if anything, he's got a little bit of a slow run out of there, Zane Goddard. So this could well be the lap for Tom Gretsch. He's probably too close again. He needs to lift off, stay back, and make sure he gets a really nice exit here. Here we go. Over 200 k's. Trust in the aerodynamics. Trust in the grip of the Hankook tyre. And trust in the driver alongside you. Oh, they go side by side. And still it's Goddard who hangs on. Just. Gee, I really thought Gretsch was far enough up to get through then in turn two. But Zane braked extremely deep around the outside and still pulled it up quite neatly. So this is a great battle. Tom would be thinking, how hard is it to pass? Why can't I just get past you? I think he uh, certainly thought he would have done Here it earlier. Now Straight he's got it. And the inside. And Harry Hayek's caught Vernon. Sticks the nose. Oh, there was contact. I think there was contact between Vernon and Hayek. The two Sydney drivers driving for different teams, but I reckon that the right rear of Vernon's car definitely came across and there was contact on the left front of Hayek. It was a very aggressive move from Hayek, all the same, but looks like they've both got away with it. Gosh, look how close he is. Oh, he's trying to have a look at the inside, up into Lukey. It's pretty ambitious there. Just rolled off the throttle and let Jimmy Vernon slot in. Harry Hayek, former Carter, first season in open wheel racing from Sydney. Great young guy. Good to have him on board for the entire championship this year and certainly well and truly in contention to take out the Rookie of the Year award from this guy, Will Brown, in car 99. Caitlin Wood having a look up the inside of Frankie Maiolo. Let's go on board. Caitlin in the Jayco dealer team car. Let's have a look if she can use the tow into turn one. is on an absolute charge, but he's run wide. Oh, no, he's done, done all his hard work. He's put it off in the marbles, and off he goes. Oh, no. Over-ambitious. Oh, he's not going to get that thing stopped either, is he? Did he get the wall then? Yeah, I think he has. No, he's still running across the fence. I don't know what happened there. Did he go in too deep into turn two and just couldn't gather it up? Now it looks like he's going to run the whole way. Or something broken since he's tagged the tie wall. Here comes Caitlin Wood down the inside. Frankie has a big lock up. This is a good battle. It's a great battle. Pour the pressure on Katie. Go for it. Here's the move again for Gretsch. Wanted to go the outside of Randall. That was bold. Yeah, just got out on the marbles. It's so hard to come back. The road drops off camber there. And look how dusty it is. I think he's dropped the tire, then he's gone through. What he's trying to do there, he's trying to come back, back on as quickly as he can. 
Oh. And then he's going over the... Uh, he's lucky. Uneven. So he hasn't hit anything, but just taken way too long. And now Tom Gretsch back to last. What a shame when he had such good race speed. Man, any further he would have dropped into the drink out there. There's about 50 metres of land before you're off a cliff and into the ocean. Here's Lloyd. The championship looking very good right now for him. A near unassailable gap in the points. And if things stay the way they are, he will surely be the champion for 2015, the inaugural champion. And he'll take the 150k, the road off to Europe looks bright for Jordan Lloyd. He's already had a career in the USA. Running an open wheel is similar to what we see here in Formula 4. US is uh, soon to have their own Formula 4 championship like we have in Mexico. There's some other ones throughout Asia, Germany, Italy, France, Great Britain. Was the reasoning behind all this was to see this expand our talents into the rest of the world in a formula that they can get used to racing at home. Vernon now is falling back, isn't he? Whether it's tyres or not, I don't know, but he's limping home. Will Brown's all over him. This is an actual a battle for second and third on the podium for the round, believe it or not. So currently, Will Brown, 39 points. Jimmy Vernon, 36. Tom Randall, 35. And Jordan Lloyd, well out in front in 75. On 75, rather. So it's a fair bit to play for here. And Will Brown, just a, a few points behind Harry Hayek in the Rookie Award. So even if he finishes behind Vernon, he's going to finish on the podium for the round. So he doesn't need to do anything silly. And the points are up on the team's timing screen. So hopefully that's being radioed through. Good comeback. Not sure what happened early on in the race when we saw him slow up down the front straight, but a good fight back from 10th. But Lloyd out to 5.9 seconds. A 34-5-1 last time around. 34-7, mind you, for Zane Goddard. So he's been super consistent. Here we go. Hold on tight. Vernon and Brown. Well, here we go. There's also the fight for second on here. So, Randall coming under fire from Team BRM driver Zane Goddard. Whoa, he's so keen to defend at turn four that he drove through the marbles at turn three, nearly sent himself off. The tyres will be dirty after that. Man, he was super keen to defend. And Lewis Leeds has caught the two of them. Randall really struggling on the way home. And at Siberia, Goddard just sticks it to the inside. Nearly gets it done. Impressive, impressive move. Just lost a little bit of exit speed. Tom Randall was able to keep a bit more mid-corner going. These cars, are, you know, if you, you don't want to over-slow them, only 160 horsepower. Oh, oh, he gets through on the inside of Lukey. We've, that's the first time I've seen someone actually make a pass there all weekend. Oh. And now Lewis Leeds goes around the outside of Thomas Randall. What a shame for Tom. He's clearly battling with a bit of speed in that car, this race, and now Leeds is through to chase down Zane Goddard. Leeds is coming on very nicely at the end of this round. Randall looks to just want to get out of that car right now, wouldn't he? He'd just be feeling it. The disappointment, another championship that's got away from him. Sports at end championship slipped away from him this year as well. It's Leeds trying to do the Dream Motorsport guys proud around the outside, but these BRM cars have got some honk in a straight line. So Thomas Randall now back to P4 and Tom Gretsch into pit lane. So I think a fair bit of uh, dirt, gravel, grass may have gone into the radiator ducts there. But this is great. 15 and here he comes into pit lane. So nothing obvious damage there. So a 16 and a 15 year old battling out for second and third position. Who's going to end up on the podium out of all this? At the moment, Lloyd will definitely take the top step. Brown and Vernon should still take second and third, like you mentioned earlier. The fight for second in the race is on. Where has Leeds come from? He was nowhere earlier. He's come flying through the pack. He started back in seventh. Here he is fighting for second in the race. Final one for the weekend. On the penultimate lap at the penultimate round. Gee, we haven't seen Jordan Lloyd. He's out to 8.1 seconds because this has been the battle of the race, second, third, fourth, but he's about to become the inaugural winner of the Jayco Australian Formula 4 Championship. He's going to receive a big check courtesy of Jayco 
at $150,000 at the awards night in two weeks in Sydney, regardless of what happens in Sydney, the pressure's off him. But what a, a, a champion he is. He's, he made one small mistake this year at round one at Townsville. He locked the front brake, went up the escape road. He missed a gear onto the front straight at the Gold Coast, missed one gear. They're the only two mistakes I've seen him perform all year. It's been an absolute faultless drive. He has been very impressive. Still the positions being swapped further back. Vernon trying to bring this home for second in the round. Will Brown, if he can get around his AGI teammate here, the cars galore to Wilbur entry. It'll be good enough to move up to second in the round. Lewis Leeds and Zane Goddard still fighting away. So these guys right on top of each other in the hairpin. That's how close it is. Oh. I reckon there's been a little bit of contact there because there's a donut left in the side part of Goddard's car, so someone's hit him at some point. Good exit. Good exit from Lewis Leeds. He got pushed wide there in the previous race. So he's had good speed. He hasn't been able to make the pass. And you'd have to think that he's going to have a go down the inside in MG. Just needs to get a good run up over Lukey Heights if he's close enough. It'll be ambitious. Will Goddard defend? No, he doesn't need to. And then Thomas Randall's having a look at his teammate now. But here it is, the champion-elect. Remember this name, Jordan Lloyd, the teenager from Toowoomba. He's a personal trainer by trade and a race car to remember in the future. What a star. He is the champion-elect for season 2015. The points gap unassailable, especially with Randall back and forth. And he has his hands on 150k to take to Europe. Oh, and Will Brown's going to take second for the round here, I think. If he can sneak home ahead of Vernon. Oh. Just good racing all weekend long. And that is good enough for Will Brown to step onto the second step of the podium, which will be his best after being third on the uh, inaugural round in Townsville, the first ever round of the championship. And the first ever champion will be this man, but we'll have to wait until we get to Sydney to crown it. He has now built up a lead that is impossible to catch. Congratulations to Jordan Lloyd. Congratulations to Team BRM. Cameron, he was simply faultless. He was all year, Chad. Absolutely no doubt about it. And there's a star finishing just in behind him at the future, saying Goddard Lewis leads. Disappointing for Thomas Randall, but he'll still go out fighting, no doubt, at the uh, Homebush Street Circuit. Harry Hayek.